Hello, everyone. Welcome back to freepilotgroundschool.ca. This is the ninth lesson on airframe engines and systems. Uh, we're going to be talking about other and oxygen systems. Oxygen systems are used in aircraft for high altitude flight above 10,000 feet. And I have more than between 10 and 13,000 feet. You need it for uh, if you're more than 30 minutes or you need it on all the time beyond 13,000 feet. Here's some boneheads that didn't really pay attention to the passenger safety briefing. Uh, I love these guys. Took a nice little selfie. Guy on the right looks like he's on his way to Portland for some Antifa protest. Anyway, uh, they have to cover your nose and mouth. And they got a big X. Talk about the vacuum system. Uh, the, va the purpose of the vacuum system is to power the gyro instruments. So you remember those are your heading indicator, attitude indicator and uh, turn coordinator. There's a couple of ways to do it. One is the Venturi. If you look on the left side, uh, Venturi, uh, this is on the outside of the airplane. As you pick up speed after takeoff, the air gets forced through the Venturi and creates a vacuum uh, in there to power the gyros. More modern, slightly more modern, let's say less old, or is a vacuum pump. It's driven by the engine. It's on the right side. And obviously the modern stuff is all electronic. Inside the aircraft is a vacuum gauge. It indicates that the system's functioning and indicates how much vacuum is being developed. It's kind of hard to find, but if you look right here, that's your vacuum gauge. Uh, this vacuum gauge may be zero when at idle. It typically reads quite low, uh, even though the, the uh, gyro instruments may be working. The oxygen system is used for high altitude flight in unpressurized aircraft. The vacuum system provides vacuum for the attitude indicator, heading indicator, and turn coordinator or turn and bank indicator uh, if they are vacuum powered. Test question. These guys paid attention to the passenger safety briefing. True or false? Okay, a more serious uh, question. The vacuum system fails. Which of the following instruments may fail? A, the altimeter, or sorry, that's one altimeter, two airspeed indicator, three turn coordinator, four attitude indicator, five vertical speed indicator, and six heading indicator. So you remember the gyro instruments. Now, some of them may be electric, but this is assuming that they're, they're vacuum. So the altimeter, well, let's connect to the static port. It's nothing to do with the, um, with the vacuum system. Airspeed indicator is the pitot and the static, so not nothing. Uh, three turn coordinator. So that one is uh, driven by a vacuum system. So three is correct. Four, attitude indicator, uh, that's correct. Five, vertical speed indicator, nope, that's connected to the static port. Six, heading indicator, that's also a uh, vacuum system. So three, four, and six, the correct answer is C. Thanks for joining me. Our next lesson will be a, a review of all of these lessons.